I've been living in Glasgow for just over a year now. Um, before that, I was living in Nottingham for eight years, um, and before that, London. So I'm gradually making my way further and further north. Um, this is a screenshot from my website. I work in quite a lot of different media, in sculpture, installation, and I do quite a lot of web-based work as well. So I thought, because today we're here talking about um, Central Station, the new website, I would kind of focus this specifically on web-based projects that I've worked on over the last 10 years. So, um, the, the, this, this incarnation of my website kind of launched um, last year and it sort of functions to document gallery-based projects and installations, but also as a host for internet-based projects. So what I'm going to do is kind of give a little personal overview of my love affair with the internet, which should bring us roundabout up to date. So the first project that I worked on that particularly had a web-based um, home, if you like, was this project called Eat22, which was from 2001 to 2002, where I photographed everything that I ate for a year. Um, this website is still online if you're interested in seeing any of those 1,640 photos. Um, and alongside that, there's kind of information about the different foods, the locations where the photos were taken, etc. Um, so what I, what I kind of enjoyed about working with the internet back um, almost seven or eight years ago was that as an artist I could put my work, I could get my work out to an audience straight away um, without having to go through any of the classic art institutions, galleries or curators or anything like that. I could bypass the whole system and um, just do what I wanted really. So with the 22 project, as I was going throughout the year, I Every, every week I would put new photos online, so it became a bit like a sort of photo diary. And I liked the thought that, uh, I don't know whether anyone did tune in, but tune in to see the new photos. Um, and this is something that's kind of become kind of familiar with, um, with everyone now, really, with things like Facebook and Twitter, this kind of um, continual updating of updating the world um, with boring information about our own lives. Um, but I like to think I was a bit of a forerunner in updating the world with boring information. Um, so, a, a more recent project, this launched in 2000 and January 2006, and I actually did this for three years, um, T-Blog, and this is still online as well tblog.net if you want to go and view any of the 1,650 entries that are archived in there. But I basically um, wrote a short blog, one sentence, about what I was thinking every time I had a cup of tea over the course of those three years. Um, and, yeah, it was a kind of obsessive habit that I felt that I had to kick um, and I did manage to kick it, and I ended this on the 31st of December last year. Um, and I then kind of went through a process of trying to reinvent myself as an artist um, and to try to retrain myself. So I wasn't focused so much on um, the boring things happening in my own life, but was more outward looking. So. The first thing I did was to, to develop a, an artist training program where I could um, attempt to train artists like myself and to help other poor disenfranchised artists out there um, to, to rethink their practice and to begin to reinvent themselves. So the artist training program is a kind of web-based artwork in itself. Um, it plays with 
people to sit by with. It, you, it, kind of, it kind of borrows a style that we're sort of familiar with with self-help programs. And I also borrowed um, two people, um, well-known uh, self-help gurus who most definitely did not give me permission to use their images. Um, Paul McKenna and uh, Dr. Kawashima of Brain Training fame. Um, they endorsed the programme and uh, helped me um, to help the artists to develop their um, brain capacities and to become more confident individuals. Another kind of, this is the schedule. Again, this is online if you, you're interested in uh, taking the challenge and retraining yourself. It's quite a full-on program. <coughs> it's recommended that you do it for four weeks, um, but best not to do it when you've got anything else planned for those four weeks. Um, another project that kind of comes under this period, if you like, where, of, where I was attempting to reinvent myself as an artist is Work With Me, um, which is a website where I advertise myself. I was kind of um, envious of artists that I saw working in collaborative pairs because it looked like so much fun and a lot less um, pressure, I suppose, if you worked in a collaborative pair, you could just chat about ideas and egg each other on and make really fun things. So I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I had someone that I could work with? So I, I made a website where I attempted to advertise myself um, to the world to, so that people could apply to try to work with me. So, okay. So I, um, in it, in it, I, um, it was a helpful process in a way because I kind of made me define what I thought art should be and um, who my influences were, what my worth e work ethic was. Um, I got testimonials. There's one from my mum there. Um, about <laughs> about uh, there's, there's other people who've written stuff on there as well. Um, trying to um, bolster the application process. And occasionally applications do come in. Um, but the, the, the kind of strange thing is that as soon as you get one, you think, oh, you must be really insane to have filled out this application form. So it hasn't quite blossomed uh, in the way I'd hoped. Um, and I think I've got a feeling... Oh, no, I was just going to finish up with going back to... So as you can see, I um, back to my website, which is this, I think... I wrote somewhere that it is a kind of deliberately over-the-top archive of everything that I've done. It's a kind of mini-museum in a way. Um, and I've also recently been collecting uh, profiles on different social networking sites, but also artist portfolio sites. Because um, I, I noticed that there are a lot of these things kind of in existence, and I wanted to sort of catalogue them in some way. So I have got uh, profiles on all of these sites, um, and Central Station is now top of the list. <laughs>